I have coded the uh, Latin square data like this, uh, which you have s which you have seen like that. So this is the format four by four Latin square, and then I have coded that into like this, and then I'm gonna copy that to Minitab for the analysis. Open Minitab. And then I'm going to copy it's opening now. All right. It's done opening. Let me bring it here. So paste it here. Now we can go stat and over generalized linear model. Remember, uh, Latin square is not really balanced, it's somewhat sort of unbalanced. Uh, so you have to run generalized linear model then this actually can run anything uh, all kinds of ANOVA one way two way everything so generalized fit model let's fit that so response is where and factors I got this three factor like that then I have to tell which one is random whether random model random and then position is fixed hit OK hit OK it should be done so that is the analysis of um, Latin square so two random factor one fixed factor and these are the p-values as you can see position significant the blocks are not significant now let me show you how to analyze the uh, uh, Greco Latin two fixed factor still uh, some latin is square so it's called greco latin still four by four or three by three in this case it's four by four as you can remember we um, are interested now in looking at types of tires beta gamma delta alpha and then position front rear like that so i'm going to copy that data and then go to mini tab and then i'll just delete that this a copy and paste and then stat and over generalized linear model fit linear model label everything as it is except we have uh, one more variable this time select and then we have to define the uh, weather and model random factor and two other fix so it looks like it's set up already so hit ok then you will find the um, an over table for gray collating so these are the position of the tire and then the tire brand and once again this model they are just random uh, chosen uh, and then this weather so these are blocks some sort of blocks so they we don't expect variation in them so the p-value says so however most of the times we are interested in this fixed factor so this is how you run uh, this in mini tab. So it's that ANOVA generalized linear model, fit linear model, and then define all the stuffs here.